Hey, you're watching TechCrunch TV. I'm Colleen Taylor, and you're watching a new episode of Cribs, where we tour the offices of tech companies. Right now, we took it on the road, and we're in Manhattan in New York City, and I'm gonna go inside the headquarters of Quirky, where they make things that are crowdsourced inventions. So it should be pretty cool, follow me. We have well, someone waiting for us here. Hi there. Welcome to Quirky. Thanks. And you must be Nikki. Yes, I am Nikki. Nikki Kaufman, co-founder and head of People and Culture. Yes, People and Culture is a very important um, division here at Quirky. We help recruit, onboard, hire, uh, do everything we can to make sure our people and our environment um, helps make invention accessible. Awesome. And that is Quirky's mission. The first thing that I love to show is actually our reception desk. It's actually made of old lockers from a school in the Bronx. Yeah, I'm getting flashbacks right now to like junior high <laughs> looking at these yeah. lockers. Shall we make our way in? Absolutely. This is a good example of, of just sort of the merchandising element and what the whole line looks like together and, and just the array and the variety of things that we make because we make iPhone cases, we make gadgets, we make barbecue tools, kitchen tools, farmer's market bags. So it's, it's really a platform for everything. So. These floors are amazing. Yes, these floors were exactly how they were. We didn't fix it. In fact, they wanted to fill in the gaps and we chose not to. And so sometimes when people come in in heels, we, we, <laughs> we have to tell them to be careful. <laughs> yeah, you could get things stuck here. This place is awesome. So right now it just looks sort of like an entry hall, but it transforms um, to a live event every Thursday at 7 p.m our weekly product evaluation. Uh, this is a cornerstone to our business. It's when we crown the next Quirky Inventors. So over, over a week, we're getting over 4,000 submissions, and we review about 15 of those at our live eval session on Thursday. So we invite people from New York, visitors, locals, guests, staff, it's a really cool way to, to really be a part of the process and the culture. So, so some heated discussion happens. It gets happen. very heated, <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> This is what we call the pit. It's all open, it's all collaborative. We all sit together, you walk, you talk, you go to a different department, you sit in front of someone else's computer. Um, actually, there's no desks, there's just rows, and actually they're bowling alley lanes really? that were taken from an old bowling alley. Um, and we work on bowling alley lanes. Very cool, and how many people do you have in this office? So there are 120 people in this office. And you'll see some of our conference rooms here. Well, the tables are all made out of found objects. Okay. So this conference room is called Heat. It's actually an old radiator um, that's been flipped upside down, put some glass on top of it, and that is the conference room Heat. I see. Um, and what's light? Light. So definitely want to check that yes, out. Yes, so come over and check out light. You oh. might remember like the gym growing up, elementary school gym, the big lights at the top. So those are the lights from the gym, and we turn them into our conference room table. Wow, cool. So. Have you ever turned it on? Um, I don't think you can actually turn those on. It'd probably be a bad idea. Our boardroom is called pallets because it is made of shipping pallets. Are these things like glued together and nailed together? Yeah, or? actually, um, this was, they kind of hated us when we asked them to do this. It took so, it was a lot of effort to get the balance right because there's a big piece of glass. So yeah, so they're, na they're actually nailed together. Um, and you know, this room is also really awesome because it's fully video capable and we're able to communicate with our office um, in Hong Kong as well on the big screen. This is a really important part of what we do too. Um, this is our photo studio. You'll see at Quirky, there is so much media on our website. There's photos, there's videos, there's renders. We do all of our media work in-house. So there's a team of photographers, videographers, uh, storytellers here. Um, so any one day you might walk by this booty photo studio and it sometimes looks like a beach. If we're photo shooting a beach bag, it might look like a kid's room if we're making a product for kids. It, it really transforms, which is exciting to be able to do that all here. And this is all yes. of your equipment. You this actually have some a label. toys. Wow, yeah, they organized it. <laughs> they don't mess around. They don't mess around with this stuff. <laughs> and I'm seeing you have some company mascots. Yeah, you know, I, can't, I don't even know why we have those. Fish and chips. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so maybe you guys will be lunch someday. <laughs> so we have made it to my favorite conference room. 
This is actually a person's name, and I'll tell you who it is. So this is Luella Rivera's locker. We've tried to find her on Facebook, haven't been able to. Luella, if you're out there. I know. Let <laughs> us know. looking for you. <laughs> We've made it to the kitchen. It serves as a break room for our staff. There's food and drinks and whatever, uh, catered dinners before eval and such. The reason why we chose all sort of the top of the line kitchen appliances is because we make kitchen products and we have to be able to test them. Um, and we have to be able to photo, you know, make photo shoots of when we launch a kitchen product, what does it look like in a home? So oftentimes our designers, our photography people are in here baking and, and making sure things are looking the way and tasting the way and acting the way they should, so. As I mentioned, this is New York and people commute. Um, sometimes people run to work on the High Line, they'll run from Brooklyn, whatever it may be, and it gets a little hot and sweaty, so <laughs> some people might want to take a shower. You turn on the shower, you can actually put your hand in so that you don't have to get wet when you turn on the shower. So there's a hole in the glass. That's so. really cool. I've never, did you guys just invent that? Yeah, this was, this was Ben's idea. So, I mean, why, don't, why doesn't everyone have that? And now we have, Ben and I now have it in our house, so. <laughs> Very nice. This conference room is called Shitter. <laughs> and it's not because anyone's in trouble or they're, you know, but it's because of the toilet seats. We can go into the model shop. So this is where a lot of the magic happens. Once we get feedback from a factory, we can actually work here together and simulate the changes that need to be made and, and make a new prototype and really see what it will feel like once it's produced. This is Bertha. Um, Bertha is the big 3D printer. Um, and actually, when we got her, I believe she was the first one on the island of Manhattan. She's a very important part of our product development process, because as you can imagine, we're iterating every single day on these products. If you're not a designer or an engineer or, you know, on, on the product team, we, we don't go in here because there's so many machines that, like, are dangerous and have a lot of responsibility, and so, um, it's a good point. But keep my, like, hands <laughs> close yeah. to me. This room is a very fun room as well. Um, it is our brainstorm room. During every phase of a product development, we're asking the community for input. When there's a sort of a crucial moment in a product development, we'll post up a, a project and we'll all we'll gather around this table and really brainstorm with the world. So there's cameras all around, um, and then those screens pop up and people are, are typing in chats and thoughts and stuff like that, and we invite anyone to come to our office, but for those that can't come, we want them to, to see it and feel it as much as possible. Very cool. This is like where the video team kind of runs their magic. You can see what's going on at, at different parts of the office. Um, these people are the ones that are controlling eval and making sure the screens and the chats work properly. Um, but they've made this amazing system, which, once again, I have no idea how to use. Awesome. Well, thanks so much for coming. I'm going to go uh, back to my desk and prepare for tonight's eval session. But enjoy, uh, enjoy your time in the shop and wherever else you want to visit at, the, at, at, at Quirky. Um, and if you can't stay for eval and, or anyone at home that wants to watch, always remember to tune in to quirky.com slash live to participate in our live eval sessions um, to help pick our next week product ideas. Okay. We will see you there, Nikki. Thank thanks you. Thanks again. Thanks Thank so, much so much for coming. Really great to meet you. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Hey, so um, I see you're not doing anything. Could you, uh, could you help us out? Actually, do some work, maybe? Sure, I guess so, yeah. <laughs> so, we've got some, um, some printed parts that need cleaning so we can actually use them. Um, would you be so kind as to help me out here? Yeah, I totally know my way around this kind of thing. Okay, so. all right, so <laughs> what you're gonna do is, before, you're getting ahead of yourself, so hit the power switch. I hit the power switch? Yes. Okay. Good. <laughs> now you can uh, get in there, and then uh, grab uh, grab that hose to your right. Oh God. Okay. And grab grab a piece with the other hand. <laughs> Are you wearing goggles or something? No, nah, you're fine. Okay. And then uh, you see next to your feet. Oh yeah. So step on that. Okay. And then. Uh... <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> driving like a motorboat or something. Just hold it down, just go for it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think my favorite part is the windshield wiper. <laughs> That's awesome. Am I higher? How much? How much do you guys pay for? The, like, how much per hour if I'm just cleaning? Oh, shit. Not enough. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got a new job. <laughs>